I think the greatest thing about Pinot Noir is its versatility. You know, it's always easy to pick up a bottle of Pinot Noir and pretty much drink it on its own, drink it with all types of food, and uh, it's got a certain charm to it. I like wines that have balance, finesse. I drink most of my wine, most all of my wine with food, and I think that structure is a needed component to complement the food. So that, I think, is probably the, the, the main core that drives the style of the wines. Russian River is great for Pinot Noir, and it's one of the most diverse uh, viticultural regions um, in California. We're pretty much in one of the cooler spots of the Appalachian, which is nice, so we get a lot of, um, I think, a lot of structure into the wines. They're not just big, forward, kind of fruit ponderous wines. They're a little bit more of uh, the old world style where you get some nice acidity you know, with the big fruit. We have two programs. We have our estate Pinot program, and obviously that fruit comes from uh, the vineyards surrounding the winery. It's really important that the estate wines represent the property and have a certain sense of place. The estate program is, typically has a lot of deep, dark, rich fruit, and we match that with a little bit more French oak. When we're off the estate looking at the vineyards, we're looking at the same you know, quality profile for the fruit in the same farming standards from the other vineyards that we employ here at, uh, at the Fogcrest Estate. But we typically are looking for a little bit more bright fruit, um, which separates it from the estate program. The 2010 growing season was actually a great year. And what made it really great was it was a very, very long growing season. So we got a lot of extended hang time. And what happens with extended hang time is it allows the grapes to really fully ripen, you know, get a good physiological maturity with not necessarily just high sugars. So in 2010, we got great sugar, but we got this long hang time that, in my opinion, adds extra layers to the wine. When you get those kind of growing seasons, it's, it's a pleasure because the grapes are fully mature, they come into the winery, and you're starting with you know, the best possible scenario. So we're really looking forward to uh, what the 2010s hold and what they're going to age into.